Hey there, this is MathCamp321 presenting a video on an application of quadratic functions, specifically maximum value. Let's read the question. 400 people came to last year's winter play. The ticket price was $5. This year, the drama club is hoping to earn enough money to take a trip to a Broadway play. They estimate that for each 50 cent increase in the price, 10 fewer people will attend their play. How much should the tickets cost in order to maximize the income from this year's play? So the key word here is maximize income. And earlier in this section we talked about maximum and minimum values of quadratic functions. And maximum and minimum values occur at the vertex. So whenever I see a word problem or an application that's asking for the maximum, whether it's the maximum income or the maximum height, I'm always thinking, look for the vertex. Okay, so a few things that were presented to us in the problem that I think are worth noting. And the first of which is that last year, 400 people came to the play, and that's going to be an important number, and that the ticket price was $5. And what this reveals to us is that last year they raised $2,000. 400 times 5 is $2,000. And the drama club is hoping to beat this figure so that they can take the extra and take this trip to Broadway. So our objective is to maximize the income this year. So what we need to do is figure out a quadratic function that would model the income and then find the vertex of that quadratic function. So let's think about the components that make up the income. Well, let's think about how we got this value 2,000 from last year. Well, the value 2,000 came from multiplying together 400 people times $5. So in general, income is a function of the number of people coming to the play times the price per ticket. So let's write that down. So this is the very general idea of how income uh, it comes about for this particular type of problem. Income is going to be the number of people coming to the play times the price per ticket. Now, I guess they did a survey and they estimated that for every 50 cent increase in price, 10 fewer people are going to attend the play. So that's definitely going to play a role in this problem, and we've got to think about how that is going to play out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to let x, and it's critical that when you use a variable in a word problem, you define what it means. I'm going to let x equal the number of 50 cent increases in price. Okay, so that's going to be critical, this value of x, the number of 50 cent increases in price. What that means is, Instead of charging $5, if I were to charge $5.50, then, two, then 10 fewer people are going to attend the play. So what that would mean is that if I were to charge $5.50, instead of 400 people coming to the play, only 390 people would come to the play. But who knows, maybe that's a better deal. Maybe overall, the drama club will get more money. So let's just take this whole idea and generalize it for our function. So income, we said, is the number of people coming. So our home base number of people is 400. However, for every one of these x's, for every one of these 50 cent increases in price, we're going to lose 10 people. So I'm going to say 400 minus 10x. Again, for every one of these x's, for every one of these 50 cent increases in price, I'm going to lose 10 people. Now, our home base price per ticket was $5, and for every X, this is going to go up by 50 cents. So the first number in each of these parentheses represents what I call the home base. 400 is how many people came last year, and $5 is what was charged last year. And we're losing 10 people per 50 cent increase, and we're gaining 50 cents. Uh, for each one of these increases. So here is our quadratic function. And it's in some weird factored form right now, so maybe if we multiply it together, this will become more evident. 
So I'm going to FOIL and first we get 400 times 5 or 2,000. Now we're going to have OUTER which is 400 times 1 half X or 200 X. INNER will be uh, negative 10 X times 5 or negative 50 X. And LAST will be negative 10 X times 1 half X or uh, minus 5 X squared. Now this is looking a lot more like a quadratic, but I don't like the fact that it is not in descending exponential order. So I'm going to go ahead and combine some like terms and just shift some things around here and say negative 5x squared plus 150x plus 2,000. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to identify A, B, and C and place these values in a cubby. A is negative 5, B is 150, and C is 2000. And with this piece of information, with these three pieces of data, I can figure out the X coordinate of the vertex using the formula learned in an earlier lesson, X equals negative B over 2A. Using the values in the cubby, negative B is going to be negative 150, and negative twice A will be negative 10. And this, of course, reduces to 15. So for our vertex, we have 15 comma something. And to figure out what the something is, I've got to plug this value of 15 into the income function. And I can plug it in here, although I think that would probably warrant uh, a calculator, or I could plug it into the factored form. And I'm going to try to stay away from the calculator just because I don't have one here right now. So I'm going to say that income is going to equal 400 minus 10 times 15, which would be 150. And then 5 plus 1 half of 15, which is 7.5. Now cleaning this up, I'm going to get uh, 250. And this is going to be 12.5. Now if I multiply these together, let's think about this for two seconds. Carry the 9. Yeah, we end up getting 3,125. So this is the income when x is equal to 15. Now this next step is critical. Most times we think of an ordered pair as x comma y. But not in this problem. We definitely called the independent variable x but the dependent variable was not y. Usually it would say maybe y equals, but now it says income equals. What this means is, instead of last year when they earned $2,000, they can maximize their income uh, and make $3,125 if x is equal to 15. And what that means is that they should have 15 50 cent increases in price. Well, if you increase the price by 50 cents 15 times, that's like increasing it how, how many dollars? Well, that would be 750. 750 on top of the five that they charged last year would be 1250. So to maximize their income, they should charge 1250. in order to maximize their income and earn $3,125. And if they do that, they're going to make an extra $1,125 over last year, so of course they'll be able to go to the Broadway play. Now the question is, what show do you think they're going to see?